Hey, what's up guys, and uh, thank you for coming back to the Prairie State Patriots YouTube channel. We're going to switch it up a bit today, and instead of doing a gun video, I'm going to do a knife review. I have the Vosteed Thunderbird. Uh, it's a new knife from the Vosteed Knife Company. Pretty sought after, apparently, because they sold out in just a few days. Uh, I have had this for a few days, so this not, is not the official unboxing or anything like that. I just wanted to show you guys how it actually came packed. Uh, I did have this cardboard sleeve over this nice metal box that uh, I thought was a pretty nice touch. And it does come inside of this padded protective sleeve, which I thought was pretty nice. Comes with a little bit of swag. You've got your Vosteed Thunderbird patch there. Then they have a card with some of the uh, blade specs on it. This card has their information about warranty and replacement service. And we've got a couple of stickers in here as well. I don't know about you guys, but I do appreciate uh, company swag whenever I buy products. We'll go ahead and get this out and get started. Uh, this is available in two different colors. I got the OD green and black g mascus scales. They also have a red and black. Now, the Vosti Thunderbird features a 4.72 inch long by 1.03 inch wide chamfered laminate GT Mascus handle equipped with a brass backspacer, which is pretty nice, and skeletonized nested liners, which I do have a picture of this de deconstructed. I'll post later so you guys can see what I'm talking about. <clears throat> it houses a stonewashed compound hollow ground harpoon tipped tanto made of CPM S35VN stainless steel. Uh, this thing is quite sharp out of the box. Incredibly sharp, actually. Uh, this thing will shave like a straight razor. Uh, the blade length is 3.48 inches with a width of 1.1 and a thickness of 0.118. Overall length of the knife total is 8.2 inches with a total weight of only 3.77 ounces. It's pretty light. Uh, and like I mentioned, it is available in a red and black combination, and that has a copper backspacer instead of the brass. This knife also features a stainless steel deep carry pocket clip. It's a wire clip right there. Uh, it is oriented for tip up carry, and it is reversible to the other side if you are a lefty. It is manually operated via the patent pending Trek Lock system just push button right here, allowing the knife to be deployed using the rear flipper, which is my favorite method, it does have jimping here on the back of the blade. It's got jimping on the front where you can front flip it. It does have this nice large thumb hole, it does have the blade fuller, or you can depress the button and flip the knife. Uh, I would love to demonstrate that, but whenever I took it apart and reassembled it after I had lubricated it, I actually tightened the pivot pin too much, so I can still flip it, but you guys will see it doesn't want to close on its own. I will tell you whenever I first open this, you could hit that button and the blade would drop and close all by itself. They are very smooth out of the box. Uh, this rides on caged ceramic ball bearings on either side of the blade. And this thing is fairly easy to assemble, or excuse me, to disassemble and reassemble. Um, I like it quite a bit. And it's got a really nice, um, very tough blade steel, has very good edge retention. My only concern with the way this is shaped is how thin the tip is. Uh, I would definitely use this for more of like a defensive carry, but this, I would not say this would be a hard use knife at all because I feel like that tip and even the edge would break if you tried to put it through too much abuse. Uh, it will hold an edge very well. It's going to have very good penetrating qualities just because of the shape of the blade, but I would not try to uh, beat the crap out of this thing. Uh, my only real pet peeves with it are, one, you know, I've got very large hands, so the handle is very thin. Uh, that leaves a little bit to be desired as far as I'm concerned, and that's just a personal opinion. Two uh, would be the jimping. The jimping's not super aggressive on here. So as far as having a little bit of a surface whenever I'm cutting, 
I don't think it would affect it too bad just because of this angle on the back of the blade here. I can still get a nice purchase with my thumb. But as far as front flipping goes, I have trouble with it just because my, uh, my finger wants to slide right off that jimping. But, I mean, I bought this thing for, I think they retail for $129, but Vosteed offers a $10 off coupon code of Thunderbird10. That is not exclusive to me or this channel. That is just through them. And I paid $119 shipped. And, man, especially for the steel that this thing is made out of, like the blade steel, that is a hell of a deal. Uh, I'll show you guys how sharp this is. I had all my stuff printed up. That's what I was reading off of just because my memory is bad and I can't remember it very well. But uh, out of the box, man. I'm not, I'm not putting any effort behind this at all. You guys can see I, I barely have a grip on the knife. Incredibly sharp knife. Uh, I would absolutely 100% recommend this. Um, if I were to have any say to a, like a follow-up model of it, which we I won't, uh, I would definitely like to see more grip texturing on the scales. They do they have these uh, marks on here, which mean it offers some sort of a purchase. But I feel like if I were to have to handle this wet, it would probably be very slick in the hand, um, and also. Like I mentioned earlier, the thickness of this handle. It's really nice for carrying just because it has such a low profile in the pocket. You don't really see it, don't really notice it's there. But for someone like myself with larger hands, I would definitely want this maybe like like a sixteenth of an inch wider, not not too crazy. Uh, I really wish that they would offer this in my Carta. I do have uh, their Raccoon model coming, should be here tomorrow. I plan on doing a video on that as well. I was excited to see that had my card of scales, and I would really love to see this design. I really, I'm really digging this blade design here. Um, but this design and this whole locking system, I would definitely like to see with my card of scales. But overall, guys, uh, I would definitely recommend this knife, especially for the price point. I think it's a crazy value at $119 or $129, whichever one. Um, they do offer, this blade is black here. The red and black model has a, uh, I believe it was a satin finish blade. But I'm pretty happy with it so far. I'm definitely going to start carrying it more and try to put some miles on it. And I actually do have another one of these coming. So after I get some time in with it, I may uh, do a follow-up video and actually show you guys how easy that is to operate and flip. Just because I, uh, I can't do it with this one. To the, the fault of myself, that is. I really like that brass backspacer too. I think that just looks really, really nice. Uh, and it does have a lanyard capability. There's a pin there. Next to the backspacer, you could wrap a piece of cord around and put a lanyard on if need be. But I appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed this video, uh, give me a thumbs up. If not, give me a thumbs down. Either way, drop me a comment and let me know what you liked or did not like. Uh, let me know if you own one of these, what your opinion of it is. If you have not um, before checked out the Vosteed Facebook page, they um, have product announcements and all kinds of giveaways and coupon codes and all kinds of deals on there. And they seem like nice people. I don't know them personally. Uh, they've commented on a couple of the pictures that I've posted. It just seems like a genuinely good crowd, though. Uh, so I would definitely check it out, guys. Um, I'll leave a link to their website down in the description and a link to this knife specifically if you'd like to check it out. I believe it's sold out right now. They're saying that uh, it should be January whenever they'll have more back in stock and have another run of them. But I appreciate you guys watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.